So today we'll check what is Ptolemy's theorem and what is its proof. So Ptolemy's theorem states that in a cyclic quadrilateral, the sum of product of opposite sides. So we are doing here AB times CD plus BC times AD. So this is the product of opposite sides and their sum that's equal to product of diagonals. So that is BD times AD. So this is true for all cyclic quadrilateral. For proof of it, we'll be using similar triangles. And before proceeding, we'll have to do a construction here. So we'll take this angle here. Let's say this angle here is your alpha. We'll be drawing a line segment AE. So I'm drawing here the line segment AE where E is lying on BD such that the angle DAE, so this is via construction, angle DAE is same as angle alpha. So to begin with, we'll be taking two triangles here. So one is this particular triangle, yellow triangle ADE. And second is the blue triangle. We know that in a circle, a chord substance equal angle on the same side of the segment. So if we look at the chord AB, this AB is substanding two angles here. So one is angle D, that is this angle. And another is angle C, this angle. So these two angles will be equal. Let's call them beta. So these two yellow and blue triangles, they are similar to each other. So we'll say in triangle, so we'll triangle ADE, triangle ADE is similar to triangle ACB, right? So in if the triangles are similar, then the ratio of the sides will be equal. So we are getting here AD upon DE. That is AD upon DE, that will be equal to AC upon CB. So this is AD upon DE is AC upon BC. Let's do cross multiplication. So we are getting AD times BC is AC times DE. And this is your first result. Right, you can match it with this. So basically this value is what we have got. Let's work for this value now. So for that, we'll have to take different triangles. So let's remove these angles. Okay. So the first triangle which we'll be taking is this yellow triangle. And the second triangle will be slightly overlapping it. So we'll be taking this triangle here. That is triangle ADC. These two triangles is what we are taking. Okay, the second triangle, we are not shading it fully. Okay, let's see in these two triangles. If we look at this angles, this angle is subtended by the chord AD and this angle is also subtended by the chord AD. So both the angles will be beta. These both angles are equal. Also in case of yellow triangle, this angle is alpha plus gamma. And in case of blue triangle, this angle is again alpha plus gamma. So two angles are equal in yellow triangle and in blue triangle. And again, by angle-angle similarity, we can say that triangle ADC, this is similar to triangle AEB. So ratio of sides, what we are taking here is, uh, let's check which side we need. We need here AB and we need BE. So here we'll take AC and DC. 
So ratio of side, this is AC upon DC is equals to AB upon BE. Let's do cross multiplication. So we are getting AC times BE is equals to AB times TC. And we'll call this as result number two. Let's add them. So we are adding AB times DC and AD times BC. So this we are getting is adding one and two. We are getting AD times BC plus AB times DC. This is equals to AC times DE and AC times BE. So this is equals to AC times DE plus AC times BE. And yes, AC will come out common. Inside left is DE plus BE. And if we'll see DE plus BE. So this is your DE and this is your BE. So DE plus BE is nothing but BD. So this is AC times BD. And that's our result. Hence proved. So this is a very important result which we'll be using in a lot of questions. I hope you have understood Ptolemy's theorem and its proof. I'll see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye-bye.